Do you have questions on how to properly care for your pet? When is the right time to get your pet spayed or neutered? Or maybe you're looking for a place for your pet to stay while you go on vacation. Mapleview Animal Hospital. Dr. Bader from Mapleview Animal Hospital gives you great advice for your pets. Mapleview Animal Hospital on Panther Drive at the corner of Riley and 136th on Holland's North Side. And on the web at mapleviewanimalhospital.net. Mapleview Animal Hospital. They love your pet like you do. And we're back here, and we're back here with a couple of guests in the studio, and if you have questions of them, as we go along the way, feel free to call us, 395-1450 is the number. We're going to talk about the United Way, and we have uh, with us in the studio uh, Patrick Bone and uh, Larry Coops. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. And uh, United Way used to be known... Many of you remember it as a community chest, right? I remember that, Joke. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I remember it. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, now, what's new with the United Way? Well, we've got a lot of fun stuff going on right now. We're in the middle of campaign. You might have seen the thermometers around the community, but uh, we're very strongly right now going out and visiting all of our partners, lots of companies at all kind of strange times of the night and day. I was looking over the list of companies that's involved in United Way, and that, it's quite a list. It is. We When we came together about 10 years ago to bring all of the county United Ways into one United Way, we absorbed all of those companies, and then we've added some. We actively go out to about 200 companies, but all told, there are about 300 companies in our county that give and work with United mm -hmm. Way. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you have a, a target that you want to uh, aim for this year? We do. We work really strongly with our board of directors, uh, Larry being one of those, and our campaign chairs, and we decided that this year we felt that we could raise $2.3 million in the community. $2.3 million. Well, some people could do that with pocket change. <laughs> I'd like, I, I, I like the deep <laughs> pockets, yes. <laughs> we call it small change to make a lasting change. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, actually, most of the companies take it out of your paycheck. Is that right? That's the best way for us to do it. If You never notice when you take that $1 or $2 out of your pay packet. You probably right. don't feel that. And then maybe next year, an extra dollar, you really don't feel that either. But when 10,000 people do that across the county... It counts. It makes a very big difference. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, what's our deadlines on all of this, uh, Larry? Well, Deadlines campaign is uh, underway, as Patrick has mentioned, and that's frankly where we participate, Joe, mm -hmm. uh, Smith Third Bank, and we've been involved for decades and uh, really view it as um, something in terms of a responsibility. Uh, we're supported by 65,000 households here along the lakeshore, so it's important to give back, and right. that's exactly what we do through the workplace campaign. It's a great way to participate with United Way. We've done it for decades. Uh, involves giving from our employees as well as a, uh, giving from our organization, and then uh, provides great opportunity for employees to volunteer, to give, to be involved. So it's engaging for our employee uh, workforce, and it's rewarding for them to give in multiple ways, both monetarily as well as time. Mm -hmm. And um, from a leadership standpoint, we view it even as a um, development opportunity for our people. Uh, give back to community, that's an important uh, pillar of us. And uh, so this, this fits uh, very well with that. Right. Now, on, on your material here, it says one dollar equals three fifty. Now that sounds pretty good. How do we do that? That's a great <laughs> investment, really. And Patrick can uh, add some comments here too. But it's really leveraging uh, one's gift and um, leveraging that with other gifts and funding sources for United Way to multiply the community impact. Mm -hmm. Our bankers love it when we use dollars like that. In fact, we often challenge our bankers like Larry and his group, can you match 350 for every dollar we invest? <laughs> we but like that. Yeah, the, the basic <coughs> concept is 
that for every dollar we get when we go out into the community we look for matching grants right we look for federal and state opportunities to say we're going to invest x amount of dollars and will will the federal and state government match it and we've been very very successful with that over the last couple of years mm -hmm. so every year when we do our audit to find out how how we've done we come up with this number that is how much were we able to leverage with the money we had mm -hmm. so with the 2.3 last year it was 2. Point, just under 2.2 million dollars we were able to leverage over seven million dollars right back here into the community mm -hmm. which is where we come up with that three dollars and fifty cents oh very good yeah very good the who makes the determination where the money goes that's an awesome question. We actually go out to the community, and we, we love volunteers, as you know, where they give advocate volunteer people. So we invite community members, such as yourself, Duke, and such as people from Fifth Third and all the other companies we work with, and we say, come on in. We'll train you on how to read applications. We'll train you on how to look for the things that we're looking for, what the impact is of the program. And these 75, sometimes 80 people, they actually go and visit every single one of the programs really? that they're looking at. Um, uh, that's the other great thing for our workplaces is they let their employees come and give their time to do this. Mm -hmm. And then quite literally, we lock them in a room after they've done all of their research, after they've done all of their questioning. We lock them in a room with some food and we say, you got to make these decisions because unfortunately at this point, there's always more asks than we have resources yeah. for. Mm -hmm. It's another big uh, element, Joke, in terms of um, our trusting of the process. So we know that money given uh, the results are measured and we trust the allocation process because we have people involved in that so they actually see the needs of the community and at the same time uh, you see results and it's effective and it changes lives and when we have people in from uh, agencies of United Way and they show us the difference and the results then our people are engaged and it makes it personal and um, it makes a difference in lives. 